What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. Hopping on to that ranked double ladder. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a fully strong meta team right here. We got ourselves a Life Orb Mammoth Swine team alongside with Weakness Policy Galarian Moltres. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. We're coming off a strong video as in the last one. If you guys haven't checked that one out, get over there right now. Go check it out. We had Gyarados and Electivire going 3-0 and dominating the meta with an off-meta team. But rocking out on this team today, we're getting started with Tapu Fini. Like I said, this is a meta team right here, so you cannot have a meta team without Tapu Fini right now. Seeing as Wiki Berry, the Misty Surge, and then move set of Muddy Water Combine, Protect, and Moon Blast. A lot of these Pokemon, you guys already kind of know what's going on with it because they're so big right now, but we're going to be using them and trying to rock out with it. We got Amoongus right next to Tapu Fini with the Focus Sash for Generator ability, Protect, Palm Puff, Rage Powder, and Spore to put Pokemon to sleep. Beyond the face cam, we got the one and only Incineroar with the Intimidate, the Figgy Berry, Full Air Blitz, Taunt, Parting Shot, and Fake Out. Moltres is one of our big attackers on the team with that weakness policy and berserk to try to get that special attack boost when his hp goes low we got fiery wrath for stab hurricane for stab protect and nasty plot to set up for that plus two special attack and we can roll out and absolutely dominate with moltres bottom left corner is a pokemon we actually haven't shown off but he is very very strong in the meta we got mammo swine over here with oblivious ability and that life orb to give it the 1.3 times multiplier for damage we got high horsepower for stab protect icicle crash and ice shard all stab moves for my big boy mammo swine and then in the final spot, we got a very fast, awesome Pokemon right here, Regilecki with the Transistor ability. The Light Clay, you guys, how, you guys know how I love Light Clay Pokemon, Pokemon that can set up screens. And this is exactly what Regilecki is going to be able to do. We got Reflect and Light Screen with the Light Clay, so that can make it go to 8 turns instead of 5. Then we got Electro Web for Stab and a Slowdown, and then Volt Switch to swap out and still do some Stab damage. Guys, if you want to try out the scene for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Life Orb Mammo Swine team. First battle coming at you guys, and we're going meta versus meta right now. This guy's got Tapu Koko alongside with Galarian Moltres, Comfy, Metagross, Cinderace, and Regilecki. Okay, so he could lead that uh that Moltres combo, which I mean Mammo Swine should be thriving here. I said we go Mamoswine and Regilecki because we can set up screens, we can slow down, and we can dump on Moltres pretty easily. Um, he could proc weakness policy, but again, we should be able to outspeed him a lot from there. Especially if we go into Electroweb and then into a Hailstorm, be Dynamax. Um, does he have a lot of physical attackers? I mean, just Metagross and Cinderace. And Cinderace or Metagross has clear body, so it's really not worth the intimidate and going into that. Uh, I definitely want to bring uh, Top. Do I want to bring Top of Vinny? Actually, no, he has two electric Pokemon. I kind of want to bring Amoongus as a nice little support. And then Moltres just chilling in the back. But then Electric, like, eats that up as well. This which is kind of a little weird. Like, I might just go Incineroar. Because Electric's just, just bopping on my Finny and my Moltres. Hmm. Hmm. How does Jeans want to play this one? I might just go Moltres anyway. Because I can eventually, uh, or potentially just, uh... It's like, a, not effect sport. What is it called? Uh, rage powder. I can just rage powder and kind of neglect some damage over on that side. But chances are these guys are rocking like uh, Electro Web or Discharge. Maybe I should have rolled in Cinemore over Galarian Moltres, but I didn't really just want like three like support mods. I wanted another heavy attacker with my Mammoth Swine. I either wanted Finny or uh, Moltres, so I picked Moltres over it. He's going to go Moltres and Confi combo, which is uh, totally fine by me. I think I just drop a Hailstorm, go Electro Web. I am probably going to proc weakness policy, but he's probably going to do the same exact thing. So I'd rather slow it down and roll from there. I think that's the play. Let's go Dynamax. Max Hailstorm. Beat. And then Electro Web this. Yeah. We have to Electro Web. We have to slow these Pokemon down. Let's slow him down. Hopefully he doesn't go for an hour switch. That'd be a huge read. Hopefully he procs his own weakness policy. Does a little bit of damage to himself. Because then we can, uh, we could maybe just knock out this Moltres, which would be enormous. That'd be a huge start for us. But if we don't, then it's plus three on the board. But then my, uh, I'm thinking my, uh, I bet you like you can take it out next turn. Let's see what happens. Come on, go ahead. Do your little draining kiss towards it. Do it, please. Please do it. Because right now, the Glarian Moltres is outspeeding the Mammoth Swine. So I think minus one Mammoth Swine will outspeed it, and we should go first. Definitely, Retrolecki is going to be fastest, besides the Comfy, because Comfy has the, uh, the Triage ability, so it has its first, first turn priority with healing moves. So hopefully, he draining kisses on it. I really do hope so. That would be lovely. Instead of Alice, so let's see what he does. Go for a journey kiss, please. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We are dead. Game is over. 
Game is over. We need to take out Comfy here. I don't know if we're going to be able to take out Comfy here. Oh my lordy ally switch. No! Biscuit. You biscuit. He's plus two now. He's boosted. Drive for my Regilecki, please, though. It was a hailstorm. Can we take out Comfy at least? Okay, we at least take out Comfy. If he takes out my Mammoth Swan, then that's scary. But if he doesn't, then we're thrive. Then we're looking pretty good. What are you gonna go for? Airstream, probably? He's gonna go for an Airstream. Who's he? You? That's a lucky. Okay, that's better. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Hailstorm should be able to take out Moltres here. But then he speed boosted back to normal. Okay, so he's back to normal. He is outspeeding us, and that's a problem. That's a problem. So he's outspeeding us right now. Buffets are coming out. And. Oh, ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go uh, Amoongus. And I'm just gonna protect Amoongus, I think. I think I just protect the Moongus so he doesn't go down in one shot. I think he's just going to come after my Moongus side. He's going to go Tapu Koko as well. Hmm. Okay, right, so there's Cocoa Beans. Um, Coco could also go an Ally Switch, right? Do I read the Ally Switch? Hmm. I think I just go after the Moltres. What do I really think he's doing? I think I just get after his Moltres. We're just going to get after his Moltres, and I think I just protect her. Much as I want to just like spore or something or rage powder, I think like if I rage powder, he's just gonna airstream and take me out. That's a problem. That is a problem. I'm just gonna protect him. Hopefully he, he airstreams or something into me. He really does. What are you gonna do? Bolt switch, block. Get out of my face. Double up into me. Double up into me. Double up into me. Now he's gonna go for darkness. So maybe I should have rage powder. Can we eat? Yeah, I was gonna say we should be able to eat. But this is huge. I like this turn considering. Considering we have what's it called now, we uh we can hit this Moltres and potentially take it out. Well, take it out, please. Take it out. Take it out. Get it out of my face. Get it out of my face. Thank you. Big old hailstorm takes out the Moltres. So we got a decently close battle, and we still have uh who do we have in the back? Was it Finny? I think it was Finny, right? No, it was Moltres. It was Moltres. Which I really really like. Okay, now we're getting buffeted by the hail. I can go for a uh, quake now. On uh, do I go after him? We're gonna have to, I mean, he can't switch out now. So I'm gonna definitely Rage Powder. He's gonna go Regilecki. Regilecki is gonna outspeed us, but that's uh, So I think I might just Spore here. I, I might just Spore. I quake into, uh. Hmm. Who's posing a bigger threat? I think Regilecki is. I don't know. They're both posing such a big threat to me. I have to put somebody to sleep, though. I'm gonna Spore on the Regilecki. Let's try to get this rolling. What happens here? Papa Coco protects. Okay, I'm. I like this. As long as Regilecki doesn't take me out, let's see what Regilecki's gonna do. Regilecki's gonna ride. Okay, I like this turn. I like this turn a lot. We, we eat all. We always gonna say we eat all day. That did so much damage. I think it's because it's in the terrain. Quake comes out though. Over on the Coco, we get the we get the boost, and we still do a decent amount of damage, which is huge. And we should be able to put my boy to sleep right here, which I really really like. I really really. Right, the terrain doesn't protect this, right? I don't think it does. It does? Oh no. Oh no. That's a big loss on my end. I thought only the Misty terrain does it. E <laughs> okay, Amukas does survive. Um, but I think this one's not looking good for, for your boy. It's not looking good for your boy. It's not looking good. If we put that thing in sleep, it was looking good. Um, I should go first? Oh, it does. Could take out Tapu Coco. And just protect the. Oh no, then he goes down to Buffets. And I guess what we'll Palm Puff. I guess what we'll Palm Puff. Ice Shark comes out. Yoit. That should be able to pick up the KO. Later, Coco. Okay. And we get a crit. I think it was dead regardless. I think it was lightweight. And who are you going after? He's probably. We're dead. Both of my Pokemon are dead. This is Gamer. He sets up a reflect. Hold up. If Mammoth Swine can eat up this Buffet, we can be thriving here. If Mammoth Swine eats this up this uh, Buffet, we should be fine. Actually, he doesn't get Buffet. He's Ice. <gasps> Hold up. Hold up. Don't be rocking Electro Web. Don't you dare be rocking Electro Web. Hold up. Do I protect? No, I do not protect. I got to attack this one. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Yo, Ice Shard coming up clutch. Um. I, oh, no. We're definitely Ice Sharding again. Maybe we can KO because we'll get first turn priority. And I think I just... Do I protect this turn? Or do I just fire a wrath? Hmm. 
I mean, how many turns left in that terrain? That's 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 a good question. There's two. I say I protect and maybe let the buffet damage go through. Cause we're gonna go down. Yeah, we're gonna go down to what's it called? We're gonna go down to life orb damage. So I'm just gonna protect my Moltres this turn. I don't want me him to survive that. Like, maybe by like an inch. But well, Ice Shark KO, it, it might. It has a good chance to. Oh, man. This is why I protect it so the buffets can go through. Now, the thing is, he's going to go for a Rise of Voltage. Oh, man. Oh, man. The hail stopped anyway. I don't like this at all. <laughs> we have a first turn priority move. <laughs> no, yo. Life Orb doing us dirty. Do I go for another protect? No, I have to get after this uh, thing. He's going to this game. Oh, man. He's got to miss. Let's go, yo. Miss his attack. Miss it. Miss it. That's game. Dang it, dude. <laughs> oh! Yo, we survived on one? We survived on one? We just won this game by surviving on one. Yo, I take those. We take those. We just survived on one HP. You guys are not going to see that again. The Poke guys were on our side. We start off 1 0. Oh, let's get it. I don't know how we won that last one, but your boy did it. He did it for that Jeans Online Gaming Community, baby. Did it for you guys. We are sitting at 1 0. Oh, going up against a similar team right here with Galarian Moltres and Mammo Swine. Hopefully, we can get something rolling here. He has the Tailwind and that Spectre. You guys know I don't like that. You guys know I don't like the horses. The horses are just a pain in the neck. Um, I kind of want to go Regilecki to set up uh, screens and stuff and whatnot. And maybe he goes into Galarian Moltres just in case we can go here. Pretty simple. He doesn't have a lot of physical attackers. So Incineroar is really not going to come in here and do anything too much. I kind of want to go Moltres. Kind of do. I don't want to get rolling with a Moltres. Maybe start getting speed boost. I think we go there. Or I can go Mamoswan. Mamoswan's not bad. I'm, I think I'm going to go Mamoswan again. Kind of just rocks out. It's a very strong Pokemon here. Um, I'm gonna bring Finny. I definitely am gonna bring Finny. Do I lead Finny though? I could lead Finny and potentially like calm mind setup, start boosting myself. I kind of want to do that. I really kind of want to do that. But no. But then if he if he leads the Moltres, then I'm I'm in a bad spot. I think I may be going Moongus again. I think I might go with Moongus again. It's just a nice nice little sport, man. Let's get it. Let's go with Moongus as our final little Pokemans. And roll into battle number two. But, yo, I thought that battle was over. And then I, like, I thought I was sashed or something. Because I legit survived on one. I was like, what? And then, like, they triggered the little thing. But that was just uh, the weakness policy. I was like, yo, I'm not sashed. I just got super lucky and survived on one from a rising voltage in electric terrain. Which was hype. I was so excited for that. But he's going to throw out a two of the top tier Pokemon in the game. Oh, I don't like it at all. I don't like it one bit. Not one bit. Alright, in this case, we're Electro Weapon. We're definitely Electro Weapon here. And we're going to slow these Pokemon down. And then roll out with a, uh, with a Hailstorm? Yeah, I got a Hailstorm over onto the, the Moltres slot. Tell that thing to go home, right? Yeah, I'm definitely going to go on to his Moltres slot. Slow it down. Say, so, yeah, yo. Knock it off. Try to do what we did in the last battle. Considering we're going up to a, up against a similar kind of thing here. Let's see what we got. Let's see what you got. Let's see what he got. Bum, 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 dim, doop, doop. Come on, make a move, buddy. Gonna withdraw the Moltres. Yo, you smart little cookie. And who are you gonna go into? Who, who's really eating up this hailstorm? Okay. All right, I see you now. And are you Dynamax Inspector? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. I don't like it one bit. Dude, you guys know I don't like the horses. I should just went after the horse. But again, Galarian Moltres just poses that big threat. And most people do Dynamax Galarian Moltres. So it's just like, ah. I gotta go after that thing. But dude. Space horse is gonna give us a whooping. I already see it's coming. I already see it coming. Did anybody else struggle with the horses like me? I think like they're my they're my big like a big flaw when it comes to playing ranked battles. Like once I see a horse, I'm like, dude, I'm done. I lost the match already. <laughs> like something about the horses, but I don't really use them too much. I don't use them too much because like if I don't like them, I'm really not gonna use them. You know what I'm saying? If I don't like the versum, then I don't like to use them. So it's, it's something like that. That's kind of how I am. Like in Call of Duty, there's a gun called the DMR. If you guys play Call of Duty Warzone. Wait, I'll explain after this, but Electro Web doesn't affect Mammo. I don't really know that. And we're going to be able to do a little bit of damage here. And drop that thing's speed at least, which is good. And he's still out speed. Man. He's going to be able to go for a quick and say bye-bye to Regilecki. And actually, he eat up. He does not. He does not. Like I was saying, in Warzone, there's a gun called the DMR. It's very overpowered right now. Everybody's using 
using it because it's so strong. But since everybody's using it and so OP, I don't like to use it. Like, I'm just like, I'm not using it. I'm not being that person. <laughs> He's gonna grim name and start boosting. He's gonna start boosting up. We're gonna be able to get off a hailstorm now. Hailstorm. Yo. And then, uh, who do I get out here? Boom, 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 boom. That did oh, Lord. He just dumped on that man. Did he just survive on one? He's sashed. I was gonna say, that's payback. This thing is sashed. She's not gonna take buffer damage, which is kinda lame. Really lame, to be honest. And this thing will take both. Okay. Uh, I could go with Moongus. I really can't. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I could. Oh, I'm going to put that thing to sleep. I am going to put Big Dog Man to sleep. Okay. I'm going to Quake as well. And try to get it. Try to boost my defense. We're going to put Big Man to sleep. And then I am going to go for a Quake. I am gonna go for a quake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bump, bump, bump. And he might, he might think I'm going for a rage powder, but I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm going straight for the spores. There's no terrain out here. We're looking pretty spiffy. So it's Galarian Moltres, which I think a nice, nice ice shark can do some damage. I think. Okay. Let's see what he's gonna do. Make a move, buddy. He's gonna go for an ice crash on me. Hey, yo, chill on me. Chill on me, man. And he's gonna go for a phantasm, which uh, we should be able to eat, right? Of course not. Of course not. The horse is just so dang strong. It's doing 300 HP over here. Defense is dropping. Mammoth Swine's gone. Dang it, dude. Something about these space moves. Like I said, I already knew. I already knew we were going to lose. I already knew. This thing's grimnade boosting. I should have uh, went after it first turn. But still, it's probably eating like big shots. Just, just these horses, man. Spore's coming out, though. Spore is rocking out here. Yes, sir. Loves it. I think I protect my boy now. I protect my Amoongus. 100%. But he's gonna go for the ice crash on me, and then I just muddy water. What do I calm mind? Nah, I don't think we outspeed Mammoth Swine. I'm just gonna take it out. I'm just gonna maybe calm mind next turn. This sea surge is popping. So, yo, no sleep powders, jeans. Remember that. No sleep powders. We're not doing it. We're not falling for it. Alright, so now I'm gonna protect. And then I do this. Take out the Mammo. And do a little bit of damage there. And potentially calm my next turn. See if this Pokemon will be asleep again. Because that could be a huge play. That could be huge. Let's see. What you got, fool? What you, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? You gonna protect. He might be going for an Ice Shard. Or a nice crash on my move cloud. Let's see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I see you. Yeah. And you're slumped. And you're slumped. Yeah. Get out of my face. Mamma Swine gone. Doing a little bit of damage on the Bantaros. That is like a different language. But do we get an act drop? That'd be huge. I think it's buffeting and his turns are over. His Dynamax turns are over. I really love how they added Dynamax in this game. Like, I feel like it wouldn't the, the competitive scene wouldn't be as good if they didn't add Dynamax. It just adds such a whole another thing. Same thing with like Mega Evolution when it came out. I hope they bring back Mega Evolution. I think that was so cool. I thought that was so cool. Finding the uh, the Mega Evolution stones, giving them to your Pokemon. And you're not done your turns? I thought you're, yeah, okay, he's done his turns. I was gonna say, I was gonna be, yo, you're done your turns, man. Don't, don't be trying to cheese me out here. Um, okay. Now, at this point, I should rage power. Or do I go for another protect? These are my last two, yeah, these are my last two. I 100% have to go for a, uh, that's a pollen puff. Dude, they're both such a big threat. And it's so annoying. <laughs> I think I just pollen puff, because he's gonna come after me anyway. He's going to come after me anyway, so I'm just going to muddy water. I really want to calm on, but I can't. I really can't. He has such strong Pokemon right now. I'm going to go for an Iron Head. He's going to switch typings. Iberia's popping. Don't like this one bit. And you're going to go after my Moogie. He's still slumped. Okay. I don't like that. I'm digging it. Muddy water comes out here. Yeet. This thing is steel typing now, dude. That's like one of the best abilities on planet Earth. Pollen Puff's coming out here. Um, of course not. Of course Pollen Puff's not coming out here. Um, yeah, I protect here again, and I muddy water. Hopefully, that thing—if that thing's asleep again—that would be a huge turn there. Be a huge turn. I gotta protect again. Protect, and I gotta protect and hope that thing's sleeping. That's like my only way out of here. Hopefully, this thing gets a three-turn sleep. Let's see. Here comes my protect. Hopefully, Cinderace goes after Amoongus again with the, like an Iron Head or something. Yeah. Okay. And I need my boy to be sleeping again. Be sleeping still. Oh man. Shadow Ball coming out here eat somehow do it 
No, not a chance. Not a chance. Yeah, I need that three-turn sleep to take at him out and do some work and maybe potentially win that game, but nah. Wasn't happening. Three-turn sleep was too much to ask for. Again, we lose to the horse. Horse is doing us dirty. I'm just going to run. Keep my little mushroom friend alive. A little Pokeball mushroom. Because <laughs> I don't want him to die. And we are going to be sitting at 1-1. At one one. But we can hop into our third and final battle. Look for that winning record. Hopefully, we can get it. Final battle coming at you guys, and this one's looking scary again. He's got the other horse. He's got Glacier over here and the Dust Cost combo, so that's that's obviously a threat. It's obviously a threat. And then he has Electivire, and you guys know Electivire is a beast now. He's an absolute beast, and he has him with the Tapu Koko, so we can set off Motor Drive with the Discharge. He's got the Intimidate Landers, Tapu Fini. A pretty strong team. Pretty strong team to roll out here. Definitely got to bring Mammoth Swine for that. Definitely got to get Mammoth Swine Rock because he does work up against the both Electric Pokemon, the Tapu Koko, and the Electivire, he does work on the Landorus as well, so that's huge. I think I just go into him, actually Dynamax him off the rip again. And I might go Regilecki just to set up screens. I've been wanting to set up screens, but I haven't. I just haven't been able to do it. I could go Incineroar. Incineroar is actually a great Pokemon for this uh, for this one. But I am going to go Incineroar actually as, actually, let's not lead Incineroar. Which I could lead Incineroar. I want to go Regilecki. Maybe try to get screens. I want to definitely bring you. And then I think in the final spot we go uh, Tapu Fini. Go Tapu Fini, and we get rolling with this. Get buzzing. Thing is, if he leads Lando, I don't think I die. I think I just start setting up screens. I go from there, I do this, that, blah, 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 and maybe set up for my Tapu Fini to maybe Dynamax later in the match. But we're going to see. If he goes into uh, what's called, then we have to Dynamax. If he goes into Glacier, then we have to Dynamax. He goes Lando. Okay. This is a problem. This is a problem. He's probably going to Volt Switch out. So I am going to set up a light screen. Oblivious. Oh no, Oblivious comes out. I forgot about that. Oblivious is huge. So I am going to Dynamax. Hmm. I am going to Dynamax. And I don't think I drop a Quake. I don't think I drop a Quake. I think I just Hailstorm over onto the lane. So I can see him uh, switching out and I set up my screen. I set up my screen. So I set up Reflect first. I feel like Reflect's gotta come out here first. I uh, know, let's set up the light screen. I'm with it. I'm with the light screen. I am with the light screen. So Oblivious is coming in clutch. That's why I absolutely love. I totally forgot about it. Good old Intimidate ain't working on my big old Manny the Mammoth. You guys ever watch Ice Age? You guys know what's up. Manny the Mammoth. Great character. <laughs> I was actually watching one of the greatest animated movies on planet Earth yesterday. If you guys haven't watched this movie yet, you guys haven't lived. Surf's up. One of the greatest animated movies. Phenomenal. Go watch it. The soundtrack rocks. All the music in it is awesome. The characters are hilarious. And this great storyline for little penguins and certain. It's an awesome movie. Definitely check it out if you guys haven't. It's one of my favorites. All time. Hands down. But we're going to Dynamax, my boy. Mammoth over here. Mammo. And what are you going to do? He might Volt Switch out. That's what I'm thinking. Here he goes. He's going to protect. Okay. I love that turn. I love this turn. I love this turn a lot. You're gonna rock slide. That's fine. And you out. Oh, he's choice. He's definitely choice. 100% choice. Hopefully, Regilecki, yeah, does not flinch. That's lovely. Definitely choice. And we should be able to take him out here. We'll be able to just dump on him with a hailstorm. Tell him to go home. Get him out of my face. Bop, 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 bop. Bilp. Get him out of here. Get the stew gone. Alright, so he's gone. Hail's coming out here. I'm gonna set up a reflect now. Actually, if I don't have to, I won't. Depends. I mean, if he has Glacier, then I definitely have to. We're going to lose some HP. Buffets are, buffets are coming out. And if this thing is Sash, it's out of here. Which I could have seen it Sash. So, love it. He thought I was going for that Quakey pill. He thought I was going for that Quakey pill. And he's definitely got to have an Electivire, right? He's going to go Glacier. And this is where I set up my Reflect. And I go for a Quake onto it. Because he's going to die now. Do I, do I Quake that? Like, why do I do it? Mm. I think I had to I think I had to start doing damage, but I set up my reply. I think that's the play. I think that is the lovely little play. He's gonna dynamax that. I do have the electric surge, so electric web is probably gonna come out here next turn. Just to start slowing down the other Pokemon. I don't know what Coco's gonna do. Is Coco gonna stay? But yeah, Glacier is just posing the bigger threat. He's so good. So good. What am I gonna do? Get this rolling. Here goes my reflect. And we are going to get a special defense boost as well from the max quake. Because he should go first, right? Yeah, you go first. And then Mammoth Swine should go second. Right, yeah. Mammoth Swine's going to do it out. Speed Glacier. 
I'm not gonna proc policies, which is great. But dude, this thing's a tank. This thing's an absolute tank for no reason. Like for no reason at all. This thing's just a tank and a half. And what are you gonna go for? He's probably gonna take out my mammoth swine somehow. Watch, here we go. He's gonna go for a steel spike. It's not stab. It's not stab. So we are able to eat. Easy eat. Um, I think I just electro web slow down. Slow him down. Especially slow down that Coco a little bit. I'm not liking it one bit. And he's gonna get a defensive boost. He's gonna get a defensive boost. I think I just take out Coco here. Hmm. I think I just take out Coco. Or do I do more damage to Glaze? Because who do I have in the back end? I still have Instant Aura. I just want to electro web here. And I really do just want to take you out. Yeah, I said we because I don't think we're doing a lot of damage to that uh that what's it called? I don't think we're doing a lot of damage to that, uh glacier. As a steel spike. But I'd rather just take out Coco here. Coco protect you buttery biscuit, man. What a play. Nice read. I give it to him all day. That was a wonderful read. Electro web's gonna pop. Bink. And then slow down the glacier at least and do a little bit of damage. Only if you can get like paralyzed from it. Only if. And he he, he gets to take out somebody. I mean, we get out instant war next turn. Pretty nice. And we do slow him down. We are gonna be able to do some damage to Coco. The Coco Bean yeah. Nice protect by him. That was huge. And then he gets pick and get a chill on nail. That's huge. Who are you taking out, kind sir? He's going to take out my Mammo again, which stinks because now he's defensive boost and I really want to get off uh, or get out my Incineroar at least. I really did want to get out my Incineroar. I mean, do I get out Incineroar and potentially like party shot? Do I have party shot on him? I have a I don't know if I have party shot. If I do, I might actually go for that. Might actually go for that. I think he's boosted. Everyone's taking Buffett's a separate horse. Horse is just too good, man. Man doesn't stop. I do have party shot. I do have fake out as well. I do have fake out as well. We're gonna come out here. Uh, do I fake that thing out? Hmm. That, that's a real question. Jimmy's coming out here. Um. Hmm. <laughs> the party shot. I think I just fake you out. I'm gonna just fake you out and maybe take him out with electro webs. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go with that one. Let's go with that one. Because I don't want him just gleaming up on me saying, yo, get him out of my face. But we should be able to eat up a gleam. That's our problem. But Tabu Coco, I, if he gleams, then he takes out. Then he's gonna get a double kill here. And he's pretty much gonna win the match. So if I can just take out Coco and only lose one Pokemon here, then we have a fighting shot. We have a fighting shot here. Good happens. Here comes my fake out. Mwah! Get the little clapskies. I'm telling you, electro webs should be able to take out the Coco. And. Glacier avoids the attack, okay. Should be able to take out Coco, and of course it doesn't. Of course it doesn't! And he's gonna pick up double kill easily. Oh no, no, just single kill. Never mind, I forgot about the punch. Maybe Buffett's take out? That'd be nice. He's gonna say bye bye to Regilecki. Uh, I could parting. Next turn. And Buffett's take out Coco. I would absolutely love that. They are slowing down, which is, which is pretty nice. We have the screens up. Uh, like, this match definitely isn't over yet. Um, hmm. They just have, like, Quake moves and all that, which I don't like. Buffett's take it out. Yes, okay. Alright. So, Coco goes out. That's huge. Coco does go down. Yeah. This thing does have Quake. I don't like whatsoever. Which I do not like whatsoever. He's done his Dynamax to other turns. But again, he has high horsepower. So, I'm thinking I... Do I have Protect on? I don't think I have Protect on this one. I do not. Uh oh not looking good <laughs> not looking good <laughs> not even close to looking good because i don't think a flare blitz is taking out this glacier he's plus two it's plus two man i don't like this one bit but i have to do that and i think i have to protect here i have to protect he's going for an electric move into my my what's called my top of Finny. Hopefully we can get a burn. I don't I don't know. Can Flare Boys get burns? I always think it can sometimes when sometimes it doesn't. No way. No, no, you did not just do that to me. You did not just read that. You did not just read that. You did not just do that to me. 
You did not. You did not just make a hard read like that. You did not just do that to me. You did not just do that to me. This thing's boosted. This thing's insane. Miss, hopefully. Go for my Tiffany. No, he does, dude. He just reads my protect like that. This dude's nuts. This dude's playing real well. He's playing super well with the uh, Coco uh, protects and that uh, that read right there for my Finny to protect. That was huge. And Electivire showing up recently. My last video, we dominated with him, and this guy's winning with him. I'm liking to see Electivire. Non meta Pokemon coming out here. I guess we gotta go for a Muddy Water. That's just our, it's just our last bet here. That's our last bet. I think I play better with non meta teams. I don't know why. <laughs> I think meta teams I'm always struggling with. It's for a wild charge, and Finny does eat. Finny, I need you to pick up the KOs here. Need you to do him. Need you to do it. He might be able to take out a uh, Glacier. Special attacking. Do him dirty. No, we don't. That's whack. Only if there's like buffets going around. Heavy Slam comes out. That's going to be game. Very close, though. Very close to the final battle. He definitely made the reads to actually win that game. If I muddy water with my Tapu Finny, we would have won. We would have won if I didn't protect. But still, yo, GG, we got one and two, and we have a solid video for today. Strong team right here. One thing I am glad about this team is that Mammoth Swine is actually starting to see the light a little bit more. Everyone's starting to use him a lot more. He's a really good Pokemon, especially with that oblivious ability. And his typing is really well. He can hit like a truck and actually eat up a lot of attacks as well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.